Welcome to The Full Experience, a show where we watch four episodes of a television series to get the full flavor of its existence. We watch the first episode. We watch the ultimate episode, its highest rated one. We watch the lowest rated episode. And we watch the last episode, F-U-L-L, The Full Experience. And we are wrapping up the Munsters with the last episode, season two, episode 32 a Visit from the Teacher, which first aired May 12th, 1966. I'm Tom Merritt. He's Brian Brushwood. Hey, uh, did, did we do any poking around? And uh, we don't have to do this right now. Maybe somebody can write us an answer to this. Uh, was it canceled due to lack of interest or or just like every, uh, maybe maybe uh, uh, the Monster Mash came out that year and they, <laughs> they decided there was plenty of monster things? Uh, ratings. It was ratings. Ratings had dropped to a series low uh, because, allegedly, of Batman on ABC. Uh, oh, I'll bet. Okay. For this a is back when, show, when, you know, there were only three channels uh, and whatever the other two channels had, you had to pick and Batman won out over Munsters. Uh, Batman, of course, uh, just wildly camp, colorful, over the top, uh, knowing that they were uh, peers at the time. It does make sense that that they would have to make the call, especially Tom. I'm going to start with the uh, this is Brian half empty brushwood here. Uh, <laughs> um, I really, really have enjoyed our visit with the monsters. Mm -hmm. uh, we watched four full episodes, including the best, the worst, the first and now the last. And boy, is that show a little bit formulaic? I want to hug it <laughs> with all I have. I want, I just, I wish I had Fred Gwynn as a dad. Oh, absolutely. But, but the problem is before I ever got to see Fred Gwynn, I would have to one at a time, high school sketch comedy style, see all of the other four characters every single time <laughs> uh, before we got to that part. Yeah, it, it really, really showed after the fourth episode. It, it, this is what makes this the perfect full experience uh, show is that I don't think you want to watch four episodes of the Munsters closely. Uh, this is perfect for syndication, which it was very successful in. Perfect for fast streaming these days, uh, where you just have a Munsters channel and you can just have these up, and you're like, oh, that's that's pleasant. You know, I can check in every once in a while and get a laugh. It's, it's like oatmeal; it's always going to be consistent. Exactly. Yeah, but you're not going to want to sit down, no distractions, and uncritic, you know, with your critical eye on and 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 comb through the Munsters because it's just. Although I will say, I really enjoyed the fact that we sat down gave it our full attention and critically come down uh so, some of the notes that i had on this episode um things that appeared wacky and irresponsible uh -huh. uh, i don't know the idea of not being on the electrical grid <laughs> <laughs> storing electricity in your own house with a some kind of battery that's the, only a vampire could do it that, that's impossible yeah um <laughs> Uh, yeah. The, uh, the In fact, it was the water one was the more mystical to me because it wasn't like a cistern or anything. It was like he just magically made water come out of, you know, everything in the house. Uh, whereas the electricity the one felt now, like just kind of mundane now. Uh, yeah. The allegory now would be to, you know, uh, conserve your own water from what rainfall you have and then also dig a well. I mean, I mean, off the grid living. So it's like you could tell that at this moment we're what 20 years into ant like conformity in the baby boomer generation. Mm -hmm. And it's like, Oh my God, finally we have consistent everything. Uh, and then it's like, who would want to live like my grandparents did in a cave or out in, in the sticks or whatever. And now to be in the 21st century, when the coolest thing you could do is live off the grid <laughs> is be self-sustaining. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, not nearly as compelling as that one, though. I also noticed that cactus juice dressing uh, was considered a, a wild, crazy, crazy thing. thing. And, I'm like, yeah. and I'm like, I'm pretty sure they have that at Summer Moon Coffee. Right oh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You can buy that at Whole Foods. No, no doubt. Yeah. Uh, 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 wildly progressive, the monsters. <laughs> The other thing that 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 struck me uh, was that Eddie's essay, when they read it out loud, uh, sort of took the magic away, right? We we didn't 
necessarily know that Grandpa was Dracula. We didn't really know that that uh, Herman was Frankenstein, right? We didn't uh, even know that Lily was green. Yeah, we didn't because it's a black and white show. And so it kind of, I know it wasn't meant to be a finale, but it kind of was ripping away the veil of like, oh yeah, the the mystery is gone. That's, you know, Grandpa's exactly really supposed to be Dracula. Yeah. It, 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 that's really interesting because I maybe maybe that's why of all of these this is uh was my least favorite uh, I enjoyed it fine sure um, but but it was my least favorite because like I I rather enjoyed the fantasy that they just happen to be weirdos who like dusty cobwebby aesthetics which yeah. by the way uh there are people who like that yeah uh, thank you tim burton and there are people uh, who 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 maybe have medical conditions you know uh, we see people walking around with who have been in auto accidents who have halos uh keeping their neck perfectly straight that was would be every bit as strange yeah uh, as as uh, frankenstein and what have you uh it was it was interesting i i, I didn't really notice that at the time but but it was it was all light and no shadow. There were there were no shadows left at by yeah. the end of this. Yeah, I I kind of enjoyed the idea that they weren't Frankenstein, Dracula. They just happened, happened. to appear to people that way, and this 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 took that away. Uh, it was also in only watching four episodes, the second time we got the vacuum joke, <laughs> where where the vacuum wasn't working properly because it was sucking up the dust instead of expelling it. Well, and uh, that that might be. Uh, I, I mean, my, you get some latitude with volume. I, 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 Lord knows that uh, on Scam School, Scam Nation, we've taught multiple variations of similar tricks, you know, uh, yeah. involving matches. Uh, but I have to imagine the number of gags that can be done indoors. Uh, like, I mean, maybe if there was a season three, it would be a... a, a, a the monsters move to Cleveland or something like then, then all of a sudden, and then it can be now you, you could be riffing. Like you all get it. You all get the joke of the monsters. They're a wholesome family that just happens to be monsters. Uh, but how will Cleveland react to them? Yeah, how, yeah. Will, how will, uh, Flo and then maybe a season or a couple of episodes where they go to Florida and literally nobody notices anything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that would be the Brady Bunch going to Hawaii for the Munsters if they had stuck around, right? Uh, yeah. That, that beautiful. Um, I also noted the new Open. Uh, we This is our only season two episode. Uh, yeah, and so the, there was a different the new Open. new Open is way better. Uh, yeah. I, I, I like that. Uh, when, it, when we watched the season one Open, I was like, why did I know who Al Lewis was as grandpa given this opening and then uh and then and then i saw the season two and i'm like that's why because that's they why yeah. cars out of everyone exactly um i don't know if this is on the level of some of the other um uh, off-color comments that would not make it onto television today but ben franklin was a piker struck me oh that's right i did i did i i i, I, I uh uh, Piker, I believe, um, uh, I'm just going to use another slur, uh, 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 what a, in the documentary Snatch by Guy Ritchie, uh, uh, they're talking about Piker. <laughs> <laughs> they, they portray them as essentially swindling gypsies, kind of uh, 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 traveling uh, people. Yeah, but this was this was a pretty formulaic uh, episode, uh, and and probably struck us both more so that way because we it's the fourth one we've watched. Uh, but you you knew what was happening when the teachers were going to visit. Uh, you knew that they they would you know be uh, overcome by the reality of of Eddie's essay, uh, and it wasn't a surprise that they held Herman out to the end. Uh, and it was clever to have that B plot of you know the electricity thing from Grandpa, so the power could go out and they wouldn't be able to see him and. Then you could have a reveal at the end. And uh, they didn't scream and run, though. They just kind of, you know, got nervous and, and made their way out. Uh, I, I thought, thought it was funny that they went into the phone booth, which we had also seen in a previous episode as well. Yeah. Um, boy, uh, I it, it makes me it, I understand that for its time, everything had to be self-contained. Uh, but but with the hindsight of 21st century um, uh, ser serialized entertainment, you know, 
uh, long form storytelling. I really would love to see the Munsters get new neighbors that were just Bohemian hippies and didn't, you know, and, yeah, and, yeah. and accepted them and all that stuff. But, but I don't want to see it in the 21st century because that would kind of take away the novelty of it. It it is a very of its time conceit, isn't it? Uh, if you have four people who look like monsters living in a neighborhood uh, these days, it's not that big of a deal, right? It's it's a different situation. Uh, as as the father uh, uh, of a daughter with black and green hair, <laughs> right? <laughs> who who plays in a rock band, and another one who uh, is is a fantasy author, and another one who is an eleven year old entrepreneur. Uh, yeah, no, uh, uh, normal is the new weird. <laughs> I was going to say to replicate the feel of the Munsters today, you would have to have a perfect fifties family live in an, in an average U- U S neighborhood and everyone think how weird they are because they do everything that might be, you know, that might perfectly be really fun uh, kind of riff on the Ted Lasso vibe of like oh, yeah. old, old uh-huh. fashioned cleanliness values. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, when when you see that, it 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 hides some kind of horror conceit, right? Like, oh, they're perfect on the outside, but they're, you know, killing everyone and on the inside or something. It'd be fun to see, like, no, no, they're just they're just trying to be the perfect fifties family. That's that's who they are. Uh, yeah. As if the as like the monsters, right? Where they were like, no, we're just we're just a normal family. We just look weird. I mean, actually, now that I think about it, if you were to capture the Munsters vibe nowadays, you would, all you need to do is uh, do the Brady bunch and then, and then just have, you know, 21st century people come in and be all like, Whoa, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ironic. And then it'd be like, what? This isn't ironic. <laughs> this <away>. is real. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I think that's, uh, uh, there's something there. So uh, somebody uh, call us uh, and, and we'll give you a treatment. Uh, the very last line of the Munsters. Did you note it down? No. I'm going to sit here and finish my breakfast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I I noted it because I'm like, okay, this is the last line of the Munsters. The you oh, know, the very I end. Didn't know it was the very end. No, I mean, no, very clearly. Like, you yeah. Know? Uh, and, and it's Herman, you know, getting the umbrella and he's like, I don't care if the water is going everywhere. I'm going to sit here and finish my breakfast. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know what that says. Again, like the juxtaposition of like, they're monsters, but they're so kind. I, I almost wonder if the monsters ran concurrent to, uh, Sesame street or not, it, or if they were a precursor because, well, 66 is when the end of the Munsters is. Let me look up real quick exactly when Sesame Street began. Uh, and it looks like it was 1969. Yeah. yeah so precur- Munsters track. was a precursor. Yeah. So, so, yeah. So the idea of what if monsters were kind, loving, supportive uh-huh. and all that stuff. Uh, that would be exactly the type of subversive message that that they that previously was adult family entertainment, and then you know could become children's you know learn your ABCs entertainment. Yeah. Uh, well, that is the full experience of the Munsters. We watched uh, Munster Masquerade, the first episode. We did not watch the two unaired pilots. Uh, we watched 129, Herman the Rookie, season one, episode 14, Grandpa Leaves Home, uh, season two, episode 32, A Visit from the Teacher. Uh, arguably, A Visit from the Teacher and Grandpa Leaves Home were about equivalent. Uh, maybe Grandpa Leaves Home was a little better for me, honestly. I, I actually, yeah, for my money, but 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 I, I think just the novelty was wearing off. Yeah. Uh, we are going to begin a new full experience next time uh, with the first episode of Gargoyles uh, in the U.S. You can watch this on Disney Plus, episode one, season one, Awakening, part one. Now, this is interesting. Uh, Gargoyles debuted with a week of episodes. So there were five episodes its first week, uh, Awakenings, part one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, but, you know, sticking to the script, we are only going to watch Awakening, part one. 
I think with the attitude of like, okay, if you turned it on on Monday to watch part one, would you have been enticed into continuing to watch it? Uh, Then we'll watch the ultimate episode, season two, episode five, The Mirror, the lowest ranked episode, season three, episode 11, To Serve Mankind, and the last episode, season three, episode 13, Angels in the Night. Heard the rules. What if I watch episode 101 and I and it ends on a cliffhanger that just makes me want to watch more? Oh but yeah, you have permission to keep watching. Okay, okay. yeah, for sure. We're All we're right. just evaluating that, and that would be you know a successful uh, evaluation of like it, it was so good I couldn't stop. I had to keep yeah. watching. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, and that goes for anybody in the audience. Uh, if you would like to get the full experience episodes before anyone else, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash cord killers. Uh, it supports the show. It supports Brian and Amos and I doing the show. Uh, and it gets some perks for you like after talk where we do other spoiler in time sorts of things. That's patreon.com slash cord killers. We'll be back for the first episode of Gargoyles on the full experience next time.